Lucky for us, when kids make it out of those public school uh, grade schools and enter college, the world is their oyster. You know, they can read any book they want, much like the incoming fresh, uh, freshman class to PSU. My college days are behind me, but I thought it would be great to invite student body president Kiara Wing in the studio to shed some light on the freshman experience and offer a little bit of advice. Hi, Kiara. Hi, Ashley. Nice to meet you. Oh, it's nice to meet you too. Thank you so much for coming in. Oh, thanks for having us. So tell everyone, what, what year are you? I'm, I'm a master's student in the real estate development program. It's my last year. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, awesome. So uh, how was your freshman experience at PSU? Um, my freshman experience was really enjoyable. I made a lot of my best friends at PSU. I got to figure out really what interests me and what I'm passionate about. Um, so I didn't do my change of my major like I think most people do. Girl, I got a story about that. <laughs> I changed like my junior year. Oh, it <laughs> yes. is. My mother was not happy. <laughs> but now look at us. <laughs> See, it all worked out. <laughs> it definitely <laughs> does. So, uh, Kira, what can students expect from, from this year on campus, campus life, academic yes. life? I think everyone's itching for more programming and some fun, inclusive events. Yeah. Um, but I think we're really trying to do more culturally specific events, also resource finding, because there's just so many great resources yeah. at PSU. Um, almost too many, so that students don't really know <laughs> about all of them. So how do we connect students with those resources? Yeah. Um, and then there's tons of food on campus and tons of cool um, businesses and like art museums. Yeah. So there's a lot to do on campus. Absolutely, and I think it's always better to have too much <laughs> exactly. you know, rather than the other end of the spectrum. So that that's great. And I always feel like Portland just in general is very sensitive to culture, diversity, yeah. and you know, creating those programs so everyone can feel welcome. Yes, exactly. We have a large international student population. We have actually really unique demographics compared to most Oregon public universities. We're actually 25% student parents. Nice. If you wouldn't believe, so I bet a lot of the incoming students are missing their kiddos right now. Yeah. Um, and we also have have a lot of transfer students from you know Pacific or PCC so there is a a lot of um, unique demographics and we have a lot of older students too yeah. so there's a lot to do and a lot to learn from even your classmates yeah that's awesome and it's always good to kind of create that sense of community exactly. so that you know even those kids like kind of leaving home whether mm -hmm. you're from far or near you now have like your own little community and you can feel some source of you know encouragement and support yeah. so c tell me what are, are some of the priorities for students this year okay so the main priority for students is easing student uncertainties okay. especially financial uncertainties I know especially coming out of the pandemic a lot of students right. are really worried about finances so I'm um, student government we're trying to do whatever we can do to get some more student employment um, and to really bring those students leadership opportunities um, some of which include some payments so yeah. we're trying to do those things and you know gift cards for the bookstore and anything that we can do um, to ease those uncertainties yeah. yeah so people can just kind of like reach out to you when they're feeling yes. that kind of anxiety because yeah. I mean let's be honest that when you start talking about financial yeah. insecurity that can give us like some stress on top of the books and exactly. the midterms and exactly. finals and if you're focusing on rent and food how can you focus on your classes Ooh. So we yeah. have a really great resource called the Basic Needs Hub on our campus yeah. that just opened and there's just so much possibilities um, for students who are in need. So. Yeah, I love that. And really quick before we go, I just want you to tell me, how was it living through the pandemic as a student? Yeah. I can't even imagine. <gasps> it was just as challenging as you think it would be. Um, <laughs> try learning from a computer. And I do feel bad for those that really like need that sense of community and yeah. to be able to be open into in-person office hours and things like that, yeah. or who really rely on their friends, meeting up and things. So yeah. it was very challenging mixed with like, you know, possibly getting sick or losing loved ones so it got it can, yeah, it can yeah. get really serious and so it's hard to focus on school but as long as you have that community um you'll be okay yeah and PSU does a great job of that Kira, thank you so much for being Thanks here for me. anytime you want to come back girl okay okay <laughs> see you again yes you guys can learn more today all that information is on your screen reach out to our friends at PSU and get all of that uh that information for creating community sign up for classes I mean they're doing it big love it so guys